In a world where ancient prophecies loom like dark shadows, a chilling event unfolds that sends shockwaves across the globe. The once mighty Euphrates River has dried up and its life-giving waters vanished, revealing a hidden secret deep inside the Congo. The emergence of the legendary Golden Mountains heralds a catastrophic era of conflict and chaos foretold by prophets and feared by all. As the whispers of the end times grow louder, can humanity face the terrifying truth? Brace yourselves for an earth-shattering revelation that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew. The end is near. Are you prepared? Let's try to understand. Chapter The Euphrates the drying up of the Euphrates River is an occurrence that is associated with apocalyptic scenarios and predictions regarding the end of times in both Christianity and Islam. Because of this, the event bears considerable religious and symbolic weight in both religions. The Euphrates River, which is both one of the largest rivers in the world and one of the rivers with the most significant historical significance, has been an important contributor to the growth and development of human civilization. Believers are filled with dread and anxiety due to the fact that the possibility of it drying up brings up profound symbolic and religious implications. A sequence of calamities that will usher at the end of the world is foretold in the book of Revelation of the Christian religion, most notably in Revelation 16:12. One of these occurrences is the drying up of the Euphrates River, which is done to clear the path for the kings from the east to march towards Armageddon and fight the ultimate battle there. The sixth angel empties his vial upon the vast river Euphrates, and the river's waters become completely devoid of water in order to create room for these monarchs. As the waters recede, the way is made clear for the armies of darkness to assemble and wage battle against the forces of good in a horrifying and cataclysmic showdown that will ultimately determine the fate of humanity. It is stated that the final conflict between good and evil, which will be fought between God and Satan, will be a terrible fight that will bring about enormous damage and suffering before the ultimate victory of good and the construction of a new heaven and earth. In the framework of predictions concerning the end of the world, Islamic eschatology also makes a reference to the Euphrates River drying up. According to a number of hadiths, Prophet Muhammad is said to have made a prophecy in which he foretold that the Euphrates River will one day disclose a mountain of gold and that people would battle over it. Because of the devastation caused by the fight that ensues, almost all of those who take part will lose their lives. Only a select few will live to tell their story. This cataclysmic event, in conjunction with other indicators, like as the advent of the Dajjal, the return of Jesus and the appearance of Gog and Magog will serve to announce the arrival of the end of days and the eventual Day of Judgment. Both Christianity and Islam see the drying up of the Euphrates River as a significant and portentous event in their respective religious traditions. The sight of this once mighty river, whose life-giving water sustained the cradle of human civilization, turned into a barren, desolate wasteland is a striking reminder of the world's fragility and impermanence. The waters of this river formerly provided life-giving nourishment to the area that is now known as the cradle of human civilization. The drying up of the Euphrates not only foreshadows the approaching apocalypse, but also emphasizes the moral obligations of believers to be faithful in their faith and righteous in the activities that they perform. This responsibility is emphasized in both the Jewish and Christian faiths. Both Christianity and Islam interpret the drying up of the Euphrates River as a call to introspection and repentance, imploring followers of these religions to turn away from evil and sin before it is too late. The drying up of the Euphrates River is a terrifying warning that the end of days is drawing near. This is a period when there will be unimaginable pain and the ultimate reckoning of humanity, and the drying up of the river is a foreshadowing of disaster and catastrophe. Knowledge of these predictions may instill in believers a desire to recommit themselves to their faith and a sense of increased urgency to prepare themselves spiritually for the trials that lie ahead. And generally, the Euphrates River is one of the most historically and geographically significant rivers in the world, playing a crucial role in the development of human civilization for thousands of years. The Euphrates River has been a lifeline for agriculture since ancient times. The fertile land surrounding the river collectively known as Mesopotamia, meaning land between the rivers, have been home to some of the world's first agricultural societies. The river's waters have been harnessed for irrigation, allowing for the cultivation of a variety of crops, including wheat, barley, and various fruits and vegetables. The Euphrates River serves as a vital source of drinking water for millions of people living along its course. The availability of fresh water has been essential for human survival and the development of thriving communities. Additionally, the river supports a diverse ecosystem, including various species of fish, which have been a valuable source of food and income for local populations. 
Throughout history, the Euphrates River has been an essential transportation route, connecting regions and enabling trade between different cultures. The river has facilitated the movement of people, goods, and ideas, fostering cultural exchange, economic development, and the spread of knowledge. In more recent times, the Euphrates River has been harnessed for the generation of electricity through hydropower projects. Dams built along the river, such as the Tabka Dam in Syria and the Haditha Dam in Iraq, have not only provided vital electricity to power homes, businesses, and industries, but have also helped control flooding and manage water resources. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a diverse country with many different religious beliefs and practices. Although there may not be a direct religious aspect to gold extraction in the Congo, it's important to consider the broader implications of mining activities on local communities and their religious practices. Now, one more thing that you should take care of, and that is a plethora of gold bugs laud the yellow precious metal for its seeming scarcity, as only 2,500 to 3,000 tons of fresh gold are produced annually according to estimates. While fresh gold finds appear to be slowing, Investigative studies suggest that gold is being smuggled into the economy by the ton in some places, and is frequently unaccounted for in terms of annual issuance estimates. According to recent reports, a mountain of gold was discovered in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is well known for allowing tons of illegal gold to enter the global financial system undetected. Chapter Surprising Gold Deposits it has been common knowledge for as long as anyone can remember that precious metal gold is in short supply, and some sources have even said that all gold mining operations on Earth will cease by the year 2050. Furthermore, it has been estimated that each year there is anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 tons of new gold that is accounted for and introduced into the financial market. This figure is derived from estimates. The fact that unexpected fines are made all the time, however, is a source of frustration for people who have the opinion that gold is in extremely short supply. The so-called 3,000 tons of newly discovered gold that are unearthed each year may not even account for all of the gold that has been discovered. In recent years, analysts have begun to question the safe haven status of gold due to the possibility that bullion is being hoarded by central banks around the world could flood the market. During the subprime mortgage crisis, Central banks flooded the bullion market with too much supply, according to data collected during the economic crisis of 2008. Unexpected discoveries of gold deposits and the underreporting of gold issuance by artisanal miners both contribute to the difficulty of demonstrating that gold is in short supply. The only way for members of the general public to learn about these discoveries is if the gold find was found by sources within the local media. For example, the historical region of Central Europe known as Silesia in Poland witnessed the unexpected finding of 5,000 tons of gold ore. Silesia is located in Poland. The vast gold resources that were discovered in the Silesian settlement were, of course, taken over by the Ministry of the Environment of the country. The 350 people who make their home in Silesia have no legal claim to the quantity of the shipment, but the announcement has attracted additional attention to the area. Anne Chatham, a reporter for the local news station, noted that there had been no decision made regarding when to start mining the ore. However, residents expressed their hopes that the discovery will benefit the region or attract tourists. Chapter Gold Mountain In the initial week of March 2021, a Yemeni freelance journalist named Ahmad Algoberi, who was headquartered in the nation's capital city of Sana'a, reported about the discovery of a large mountain of gold in the Congo. The authorities of the Congo's South Kivu province have placed a ban on all forms of artisanal mining, notwithstanding the absence of any figures that have been verified regarding the amount of gold that was discovered in the region. Algobari revealed the news in a tweet stating, A video from the Republic of the Congo documents the biggest surprise for some villagers in this country, as an entire mountain filled with gold was discovered. They excavate the dirt that surrounds the gold resources, then transport it to their homes where they wash it and process it in order to obtain the gold. Another video was uploaded by Algobari, showing people from the Republic of the Congo searching for gold and discovering significant gold resources on the mountain. The problem with gold reserves in regions such as the Congo is that a recent assessment from the United Nations indicated that gold production in the Democratic Republic of the Congo continues to be systematically underreported. This is problematic for the gold industry. According to a report that was just released by the United Nations, the Congo and other nations near the eastern border have long been recognized as important gold locations worth billions of dollars. Artisanal miners are responsible for extracting the gold from the soil in what is known as artisanal mining, 
In contrast to large-scale operations, which typically make use of motorized excavators, artisanal miners are believed to employ more basic mining methods, such as digging with shovels. Massive quantities of gold from the Congo are underreported and make their way into the financial system. This gold originates from areas such as the provincial capital of Bukavu, as well as Ituri province and Luhihi. Chapter Bitcoin is scarcer than gold. In the end, the anecdotes and the new report from the United Nations demonstrate that the bright yellow precious metal we know as gold may not be as scarce as we have been trained to believe it is or as we think it is. Discoveries such as the mountain of gold in the Congo and the 5,000 tons found in the Silesian town in August demonstrate that huge gold reserves are located on a regular basis and that many gold findings are routinely underreported. Moreover, it is likely that many gold finds are not reported at all. On the other hand, it is common knowledge that the protocol for the digital asset known as Bitcoin has a maximum supply restriction of 21 million. A crypto asset such as Bitcoin is regarded as being far rarer than gold, and the protocol makes certain that there won't be any unexpected fines or unreported issuance of the cryptocurrency. It is extremely difficult for someone to demonstrate that gold is a scarcer asset than Bitcoin due to the discovery of new and enormously huge gold resources in locations all over the world, not to mention the undeveloped ore under the ocean and the gold that may be harvested from asteroids. Recently, NASA has been considering the possibility of developing a spacecraft that would be called the Psyche. The purpose of the mission is to take photographs of the metal rock asteroid designated as 16 Psyche. The gold and other metals that make up the 226-kilometer-wide asteroid are estimated to have a combined worth of approximately $10,000 quadrillion. Are we truly on the brink of a cataclysmic shift foretold by the wise ones of old? The potential consequences of these events, as described in religious texts, are undeniably unsettling. In the case of the Euphrates River drying up, both Christianity and Islam foresee a time of great turmoil and strife. Christians believe that the receding waters will pave the way for the final battle of Armageddon, where the forces of good and evil will engage in a cataclysmic confrontation, ultimately determining the fate of humanity. Meanwhile, Islamic prophecies predict that the drying of the Euphrates will lead to the emergence of a mountain of gold, inciting a devastating conflict that will result in the death of all but a few participants. So if you too are captivated by the enigmas of our world and the secrets waiting to be unveiled, make sure to subscribe to our channel.